hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial video where i'm going to demonstrate to you on how to process cash book transactions on sage pastel accounting we're going to be utilizing the following tutorial question so it says on the 22nd of september 2017 the company paid 2000 rands for water and electricity on the 19th of december 2017 we received a payment of 8500 from a customer and on the 3rd of january 2018 we paid this supplier in full which is software suppliers and on the 28th of february we received rental income of 12,000 from one of our tenants for the whole year and then the last transaction says that we transferred 1000 rands from national bank into the international bank so you can see that the required says process the above transactions in national bank cash book so we're going to process all these transactions into the national bank cash book so let's go ahead and process those transactions we're going to start with the one on the 22nd of September uh, where we were paying for water and electricity so I'm going to go back into pastel and I'm going to process those particular transactions so when we get to process cash book screen you need to make sure that you are on the correct cash book account so I'm going to select the national bank and then I'm going to select my period so the period will be the seventh period because we paid the water and electricity in September and we paid it on the 22nd of September and then on the GCS you're going to select the general ledger account and then when you get to account you need to search now for water and electricity so you can see that we have electricity and water you're going to select that and then the reference i'm just going to leave it where it is it says check five it's fine for demonstration purposes i'm just going to leave it on check five but you need to ensure that you enter the relevant or correct references in your case and then when you get to description i'm just going to select payment the bank amount that we have paid was 2000 rands and then i'm just going to go back into my presentation or the tutorial question it says that on the 19th of September of December we received a payment of 8500 from a customer so you need to be on the receipt side in order to process that receipt from your customer so that was on the 19th of December so I'm just going to search for December and then I'm just going to insert my dates it was on the 19th and then on the GCS now I need to select the customer and I need to select the relevant customer account which is Albot Limited and then the reference I'm just going to leave it where it is but don't forget to insert the correct references and then when I get to description uh, I'm just going to select payment thank you and then this customer was paying us an amount of 8,500 rands and then you can see that after inserting that particular 8,500 you're going to receive this screen where you need to match the items 
this screen means that you can see that the customer has con uh, transacted with the company on the 1st of July 2016 for 3,740 worth of goods and then in that particular amount the customer still owes what 2,130 130. and then on the 27th of May 2017 the customer transacted again with the cust with the company for 10,460 worth of goods and on the 27th and on the 27th again so it means that this customer is transacted with the company four times so now you need to select the particular amount that this customer is paying for so i don't want to uh match my 8500 rands i'm just going to click on close but if it was mentioned that the customer is paying for the goods that he purchased on a particular date you're just going to click on match so it means that the customer is paying from this particular transaction so i don't want to match i'm just going to close and I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm just going to go back to my tutorial question to process the third transaction, which says on the 3rd of January 2018, the uh, we paid the supplier account in full. Which supplier account? Software suppliers. So I'm just going to go to payments side to process the payment that we have made so the date was on the 3rd of september of, on the 3rd of january so i'm just going to locate january right there and then i'm going to insert my date which is the third and then on the GCS now, I'm going to select supplier. And then I have to select the relevant supplier account, which is software suppliers. And then now, in order for us to know the, the amount that we have to, we paid to the supplier, we need to know the balance that we're owing it, uh, to this date so I'm just going to go to uh, edit tab and then I'm going to go to customers accounts let me close this I'm going to go to supplier accounts instead so when I get to supplier accounts I'm just going to search for software suppliers and go to balances tab and then you can see that at the end of uh, the year we are owing this person 253 and 32 cents so our amount will be 253 and 32 cents so this is the amount that we are paying to this particular supplier and then uh, last but not least it says on the 28th of february we received rental income of 12,000 from one of our tenants for the whole year so in this case i'm going to go to the receipt side and record that payment so it was on the 28th of february so it's a general leisure account it's a rental so when i get to this screen i'm going to search for 
rental income so as you can see we don't have rental income account created <clears throat> so what i'm going to do i'm just going to process this under sundry income other incomes but if in your case you have uh dedicated the rental income uh in the chart, chart of accounts you're going to process that under the rental income in this case i don't have it i'm just going to book it to sundry income and then my reference i'm just going to say dep4 and then on the bank amount it was 12000 that we are receiving from this particular customer and then as you can see on our tutorial question we only left with one transaction which says on the 28th of february the company transferred 1000 rands from the national bank into the international bank so i'm just going to process this particular transfer so to process a transfer you're going to click on the transfer button below and then you can see now it says the cash book transfer has not been set up this must be done under setup company parameters menu option so i'm just going to click on okay it's fine i need to set up a bank transfer account before i can transfer this particular uh cash from national bank into the international bank to do that you will need to close this process cash book screen so i'm just going to process or update the transactions that i have recorded to so far so i'm just going to click on that update so now that batch was updated now i need to go and process this last transaction so to set up the bank transfer account I will go to set up company parameters and then when I get there I'm going to go to settings and then on the settings step down below there is where it's written cash books and then I'm just going to click transfer account and search for bank transfer and then i'm going to click on ok then I'm, i will go back to process cash book then i'll click on transfer button and then it's going to give me this particular screen uh, you will need to set up uh insert the correct details from the period the date the references and the descriptions so this particular transaction took place on the 28th of february 2018 and then the reference i'm just going to say d e p zero zero five and then description i'm just going to say bank transfer and then now you need to insert the amount that you are transferring from this account into the other account and click on process when you are done and then you need to uh, confirm that you want to transfer this particular amount from the national bank into the international bank so it's going to ask you if you want to continue You're going to click on yes if you want to continue with that transfer of cash so there i'm done with processing my transactions this marks the end of this tutorial video
if you haven't subscribed to this channel you can just click on the subscribe button below in order to receive notifications and more beneficial videos such as this one in the future thanks for watching a like would be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe